Jim Zavislin is a professor. He's the, at the Institute of Optics at the University of Rochester. And according to him, as humans evolved, we evolved to work best in the light. That's where our eyes are going to work the best, too. When it's dark, no matter the case, we just won't see as much. A camera, on the other hand, is a lot more adaptable than just our average human eye. And at night, we have what's called scotopic vision, in which we actually don't have very good color um, response. Our eyes, again, are basically evolved from what was necessary for our own survival. Which meant at night, we just needed to be able to see potential predators. As a result, color in our fight to survive wasn't a priority, at least when it got dark. A camera, on the other hand, doesn't have to wait for nature to make improvements. Cameras, on the other hand, have a electronic adjustability. Um, they have a variable exposure time. They can integrate over multiple seconds. And they can also increase their relative gain and this allows them to adapt to the circumstances that they're trying to uh, photograph. They've also gotten incredibly smarter. One really important thing is in today's modern cell phones, they're taking lots of images and they're processing. It's the processing that actually gives you the enhancement. To help demonstrate this, Professor Zavislin set up an experiment where he used a special filter to dim the light from the projector by 2,000 times. To the naked eye, much like if the aurora was happening, you could see very little, but through just an iPhone camera, the color erupted. Immediately through my viewfinder, I'm actually getting a reasonable image because the camera is actually processing multiple images and uh, assembling them together to an overall uh, visible image. After we're done, we now have uh, a picture where again you can go ahead and see the reds and the purples. Perhaps most importantly, interestingly, you can actually go ahead and see that tree branch uh, illuminated just as we were uh, when the uh, image was at full brightness. Now, Professor Zavislin also offered a few tips for better photography, whether on a phone or with an SLR camera. Those tips are included in this story on our website, rochesterfirst.com.